details are coming out tonight about the Kim Putin summit and how the Russian president is inserting himself into the tense ties right now between the U.S. and North Korea. Brian Todd is working the story for us. Brian Kim Jong-un uh, didn't hide his frustration with President Trump during their summit. He not only didn't hide it, Wolf, it seemed like he kind of went off on Trump when he was talking to Putin. Kim was blunt in his assessment of where he stands with the Americans. He was very critical of Trump and his team, and that seems to have given Vladimir Putin an opening. North Korea's ruthless young dictator is angry and venting tonight. During his summit with Vladimir Putin in Vladivostok, Kim Jong-un gave the Russian president a brutal, stark view of where he thinks he stands with Donald Trump. According to his news agency, Kim told Putin the situation on the Korean peninsula is, quote, now at a standstill and has reached a critical point where it may return to its original state. More damning, Kim accused President Trump and his team of acting in bad faith at the recent second summit talks. Kim Jong-un is frustrated. The last summit in Hanoi was a failure for him. A failure, experts say, because Trump walked out after Kim asked for most of the sanctions against North Korea to be dropped. Tonight, Bill Richardson, who often negotiated with North Korea, is worried about how Kim might take out his frustrations. My worry is that Kim, uh, because he had such a bad summit in Hanoi, might make some provoking steps that might start a bad tripwire military effect, diplomatic effect in the peninsula. What makes Kim's frustrations all the more interesting is that he chose to share them with another of America's foes, Vladimir Putin. Putin now says Kim Jong-un asked him to play the role of mediator and tell America where Kim stands. And Putin says he's happy to oblige. We will also discuss this matter in today's meeting with U.S. leadership in the same open and candid manner. There are no secrets here. Russia always voices an open position. There are no conspiracies. President Trump, who's been more trusting of both strongmen than veteran diplomats would advise, is positive about Putin's overture. I appreciated President Putin's statement yesterday. He wants to see it done also. Putin does share the Americans' view that North Korea should not have nuclear weapons. And experts say, despite being an adversary of the U.S., Putin could help with Kim. To the extent that Putin is North Korea's last best hope when it's otherwise isolated, if the United States and Russia are communicating, if the United States and Russia have some degree of agreement about where the negotiations could go, that means a lot more joint leverage on Pyongyang than we would otherwise have. But with Vladimir Putin, experts caution, there's always an ulterior motive one which often works against America's interests. They say Putin could be trying to drive a wedge between Trump and Kim. And Putin could derail the nuclear talks by persuading Kim he doesn't need the U.S. If the Russians say to the North Koreans, you don't actually have to give up what the United States is asking you to give up, we will help you weather the storm of international sanctions. After all, we're under sanctions too. We're doing just fine. We can continue to help you out. Then Kim may not have an incentive to meet with Donald Trump let alone to make any concessions. And analysts say there are other ways that Vladimir Putin could be a destructive actor in this entire equation with Kim Jong-un. They say the Russian president can and probably already has offered more Russian cooperation with North Korea in cyber warfare against the United States. And they say that weapons and military cooperation are always on the table here. And the Russian president can also help Kim, as always, evade sanctions and get what he needs on the black market. Also, so far tonight, no response from the White House or the State Department to Kim's accusations that the Americans acted in bad faith in Hanoi.